Right, hi, um, I'm going to do a bit of doodling, basically because I just want to do some doodling and the reason for that is this, this magazine I'm addicted to at the moment, I've got two, this is the, not the newest one, it's the one before the newest one, it's Japanese and it's all written in Japanese, I can't understand a word of it, um, it's all obviously Japanese. But the images are amazing and this is the latest one and it's so inspiring and it's so made me want to doodle. Um, so I just thought, why not? I mean, look at these wonderful images. There's so much patterning to take from here. So what I wanted to do was just try and capture some of how I feel when I look at all these patterns. I mean, look at this here. All these cloths in a window, you know what I mean? So it's just all so wonderful and there's every page that you turn, there's something more wonderful to look at. And because it's Japanese, they read back to front. So the front is at the back. Um, and you read it this way, going back like this. Um, it's just fabulous, fabulous. I have to mail order it, but it's not very expensive. In fact, when I first got clicked add to cart and I looked at my cart, it says something like 14,000 yen and I thought, oh, I can't afford that. Anyway, it turns out it's about nine pounds English, so that's not too bad. But what I particularly like is this dress and all the patchwork in there. But then there's another dress in here. And what this made me think of was folds. I hope it's in this one. Yeah. These. I mean, I love the Christmas of those. They're obviously very sheer cotton. Um, but I just loved how it was falling in folds, this wonderful cotton. So what I was thinking was maybe try and draw a fold or two. Um, and then add some of the patterning from the other page from this page okay so that's what I'm going to do so bear with me because I'm not Picasso this is an old ledger I wanted to get it filled up there's all kinds going on in here you've probably seen this on my blog loads of times um, there's loads of stuff in here some better than others this is probably one of my favourite pages that one and there's some white stuff going on on this page I'm not going to start there because there's something on there. I could rub that out, but I'm not bothered about that. So I'll move to here. And this is a, a paper weight. The weight of the paper is sufficient for it to take watercolour paint, you see. So that's why I want to use this, because um, I may actually do some of that as well another day. So folds, how am I gonna draw folds? Don't laugh at me. So I need to maybe move that, sorry. And put that a bit further over there. No, that's not going to work. So much stuff on this table. I haven't got a free surface anywhere. So, perhaps just like that. I'm basically, I'm drawing tubes, aren't I? For folds. And then I have a bit of that going on at the bottom. So that's my first one. I don't like it. Um now then I'll do another one but not the same height or width but you've got to see the bigger picture a thin one there like that and then let me see I'll do another thin one I think the first one the problem with that is it's too wide So there, uh, I will take a picture of this, but like, don't hold your breath because it might not develop properly until there's more patterning going in and perhaps a little bit of colour. I don't think that's very straight, so maybe do that like that. Got a rubber somewhere. I know I do, I know I do, there it is. I always do this, it's always got to be rubbed out. It's much better, I think it's much better. And it doesn't look like anything now, I appreciate that. But what I'm going to do now is put some of these patchwork um, sections in. But I'm going to do them all different sizes. As if they're not completely on this page, if you know what I mean. Um, so 
so it's coming along it's uh, there so that's that one now in this tube I'm turning my page of my book over because what I really like actually it's that this just a sense of like flowers but so I'll just do some basic outlines like flowers in there and I'll tell you what will make this look better if you do my class you probably can answer that before I even say it but it's something that I do a lot it's my default mark and it does kind of I think add something so it's just literally it's stitch marks so if I do stitch marks up here like these tubes are stitched together to me it helps to define it so and up here as well Now it's a very very basic doodle and I like heavy lines, I don't know why I just do what can I say I'm really not the best but it's good to doodle it limbers up your fingers I just think it looks more substantial when you've got heavy lines so I'm not gonna This isn't going to, uh, not going to set the world on fire, but it's just like a, a five minute lingering up exercise for me. Once upon a time, I would never have dreamed of drawing on camera, but I just, I know my limits and I'm perfectly prepared to accept that I'm not the best artist in the world. But we'll see how it turns out when I get colour on it. How long are we now? See, seven minutes. And I haven't got anything in this final tube yet. So maybe I'll put some colour in this tomorrow. Um, on camera. So I need to find something to go in here now. But you will... I do think that just doing this defines it. Now I need to find something to put in this final tube. So if you think of the different patternings that are going on, if I uh, added colour to these, it would make a difference, I think. Now I'm looking on this in this book here, and I've got buttons there, um, which are quite tempting because they're only circles. If I turn over, yeah, I think I'll do some buttons. So we'll just have some circles coming off the side. Now I'm wondering already how I'm going to differentiate that patchwork there. I think that needs to be more defined. And obviously there's more needs to be going on on this page. So what I will do, because I don't want the video to get too long, I'll stop now. And then I'll make another one for tomorrow um, where I add a little bit of colour and I try and differentiate that patchwork to make it stand out a little bit. Um, just wondering about that. But anyway, so I'll do that tomorrow. So that's it so far. Wow, well, you know, nothing extraordinary. But I'm hoping that as I add to it, it will evolve and it will come alive a little bit.